An engine can teach us a lot about life, but before we get to that in the next video, we need a brief demonstration to tighten up our understanding of how a four-stroke internal combustion engine works. Are you pumped up for this or what? Hanging from this engine stand is an engine block, or what's called the bottom end of an engine. It came out of an early 90s Ford Taurus. Here it is looking down into it through the top. These are the cylinders where the combustion occurs. Here it is looking at it from the bottom. This is where the crankshaft bolts in. This is the crankshaft. These shiny round polished surfaces that you see, these are called journals. These are the points of contact where the crankshaft rotates. There's five down the center axis where it bolts up to the engine block. These other four are where the piston is attached by this connecting rod. As the combustion drives the piston down, it is able to throw the crankshaft around and around. This is why I refer to this section right here as the throw of the crankshaft. Okay, let's now install the crankshaft and one piston. A stroke is one pass of the piston either down or up the cylinder. One, two, three, four. It takes four strokes for each cylinder to complete its power cycle. Stroke number one. The piston travels down the cylinder drawing in air and vaporized fuel. This is called the intake stroke. Stroke number two. The piston travels back up the cylinder compressing the air and fuel mixture. This is called the compression stroke. Stroke number three. A spark from the spark plug ignites the compressed air and fuel mixture. This is called the power stroke. Stroke number four. The piston travels back up the cylinder expelling the spent gases. This is called the exhaust stroke. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. This is the top end of the engine, otherwise known as the head. It delivers the air, fuel, and spark to the cylinders. This is a valve, and this is a spark plug. This end sticks out of the head into the cylinder and delivers the spark. Air and fuel enter the cylinder through this intake valve, and spent gases are expelled through this exhaust valve. What you see here is the tip of the spark plug, which is seated in the head of the engine right here. What is an RPM? Stands for revolutions per minute. Revolutions, namely, of the crankshaft. When the average car out there on the road has reached the maximum RPM, what we refer to as the red line, that's usually at about 5,500. That means this crankshaft is spinning 5,500 times in one minute. That's an unbelievable rate of 91 times per second. All these blindingly fast moving metal parts need constant oiling. The oil is picked up from the oil pan by the oil pump. This is the pickup, what's known as the pickup that sits in the bottom of the oil pan. This pump pulls the oil up out of the oil pan and pumps it through this filter and then all throughout the engine. It can get two to two and a half times as hot as a match inside the cylinder. Ah, water is circulated all around the cylinders to draw the heat away. 
These triangular shaped holes you see here are actually passageways where the water flows through a whole network of channels in both the top and bottom of the engine. Coming up next, I will attempt to relate what we've learned so far about this engine to our lives. God bless you.